Hello lovely people and welcome to Thrive with Trish. Today we're going to be talking about Ikigai, how you can use Ikigai to find your purpose and a job that you love. So if you've been battling with trying to find your purpose and a job that gives you fulfillment, then do stick around until the end because what I'm about to share with you has helped many of my clients very positively and I'm very sure that it will do the same for you. So what is Ikigai? Ikigai is a Japanese concept which helps an individual discover their purpose. What does it mean exactly? While there's no actual direct translation in English for this, but the closest meaning that you can get to this word is a reason for being. How do you use Ikigai to discover your purpose? Ikigai covers four main aspects that is best illustrated using a Venn diagram. By using this diagram, you'll be able to find the intersections between your mission, passion, calling, and career. The four areas that Ikigai covers are What do I love? What am I really good at? What does the world need? And lastly, what can I earn money with? Of course, in theory, it's easier said than done. To actually do it can require some time and a deep sense of understanding of yourself. If you would like to try out Ikigai to find your purpose or a ideal career for yourself, don't expect to just use five minutes to finish this. I would strongly suggest that you block out some time in your day or even over a few days to do this exercise properly. How to discover a job you love? First, you can start by drawing the diagram and filling it up with keywords or ideas that comes to mind. Alternatively, you can grab a Ikigai template from the link down below in the description for free, just for you. So as you are filling up this diagram, try to analyze where does all your answers meet? Where does it intersect? If you look at the complete diagram, you'll be able to see connections. So take your time to reflect and answer the questions. In fact, you can also get someone else to compare your results with. One very important note to keep in mind as you are doing this exercise is to always keep an open mind because what you thought your Ikigai is may just turn out to be something completely different. To help you gain some clarity with these four main questions, here are some points to reflect on. For the first question, what do I love? Think about what you really like to do. What makes you tick? What touches you? What do you enjoy doing? For the second question, what am I really good at? Think about what unique talents you have. What do people give you compliments about? What comes easy or natural to you? What expertise do you have? Question number three, what can I get paid for? This question is also really important to support your personal branding because once you can answer these questions, you will know better how to market your skills. What are your personal selling points that you'd like to focus on and develop further? Is it your experience? Do you have a skill that is in top demand? And for the last question, what does the world need? Think about what you can contribute to the world. Is there something helpful you can do for others? What activities are there that would have a positive effect on the world? What would your children or grandchildren be proud of? So as you look at this diagram, write down as many keywords that comes to your mind for each of these sections. Don't rush this part because this is really, really important. Just any keyword that comes to mind. Nothing is too ridiculous. Nothing is silly or crazy. Just write them all out. And once you're done with this, we're gonna try and pull it in all together into the middle to find your Ikigai, which is the intersection for all four of these sections. Because as you look at this diagram, you will realize that if you are stuck in between any two or three of these aspects, but not all four, you'll be left feeling dissatisfied. You won't feel fulfilled, you won't feel a sense of meaning, and you will definitely not feel inspired to wake up every day to do the work that you do. Again, take your time to reflect on all these questions as you slowly complete the diagram and discover your Ikigai. Finding your Ikigai can be helpful in so many ways. It can help you to discover your purpose. It can give you clarity on the type of career that would give you the most fulfillment. You can discover what you need to improve in order to achieve your goals. And lastly, you discover what are the things that are most important to you. If you do try out Ikigai, then congratulations because 
Now you've discovered your true purpose and the reason for you to wake up every morning feeling inspired. If you found this video to be helpful, please do give me a thumbs up, subscribe and share this video with any of your friends, family or colleagues who you believe Ikigai will be of use to them. Now let's have a look at the quote of the day. Discover your purpose and fulfill it fearlessly because life is too beautiful to waste away doing meaningless work. Now I'd like to hear from you. Have you ever tried Ikigai before? If yes, please do share with me your experiences in the comments below. And if not, do try it out and let me know how it goes for you. Moving on to my thank you shout out to my top 5 supporters for last week. Enzo Creators, Jose Rojas, Megan and Tyler, BU, and Scott Edward. Thank you so so much for your support. I truly appreciate all of you. And ladies and gentlemen, if you have a minute to check out these lovely accounts, please do. For us small YouTubers, every little bit of support truly counts. Live strong and have the courage to create a life you love because your happiness truly matters. Thank you so much for watching and for being here. I look forward to catching you next time on my next episode of Try With Trish. Hey my dear friends, in my lifetime, I have felt lost about two, three times and I have used actually various ways to find my purpose. What about you? Have you ever felt lost before? What has helped you to discover your purpose? Do share with me in the comments below. Thank you and have a blessed day. Bye. <laughs>